Hey, I'm Ryan Fowler here on Tide 99.1 as we continue to wrap up practice ongoing right now on the campus of the University of Alabama. Our coverage here on Tide99.1.com. I'm Ryan Fowler. This is Kevin Connell. He's the beat reporter for Tide 99.1 as we cover Alabama athletics daily on our website and also on our YouTube channel. Subscribe here. We look at the defensive line as we're starting to see some of these preseason lists that are starting to emerge, whether we're talking about all SEC, all Americans. And I think we've got to start on the strength of this unit. I think it's the best unit in college football, top to bottom, one through 10, one through 11 guys. This defensive line is gonna be something that a lot of teams are gonna have trouble dealing with throughout this season. Right, I, I would agree with that. Any, any person I've ever talked to about Alabama football, the first thing that I would come to is the defensive line. That's probably, again, probably the best unit in college football. I mean, you got Sean Robinson, who was just named to the All-American list, I believe, the All-SEC list. John Allen, another savvy veteran. Um, Dalvin Tomlinson, Jaron Reed. I mean, top to bottom again, yes. That, the list is goes anywhere. I mean, even you look at Deshaun Hand, a guy, I mean, freshman, top number one overall player last year, didn't get a whole lot of chance to play, but and it it's, remains to be seen how much he'll play this season, but that just goes to show you, speaking of depth, when you have the top recruit in the nation, and he's maybe third string on that defensive line rotation. I think it's one notice that we, we really jumps out to us is Darian Payne. Uh, Deron Payne, I think, is sometimes the way some people uh, say his first name. But Payne, number 94, is it shows you how talented he is for to make an impact this quick as a freshman, a true freshman coming in. You can tell that the transformation as far as body type is starting to change. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to get a big role, but he'll be a playmaker on this defensive line for years to come here in Tuscaloosa. One more other thing is I want to talk about the, the, the negative, but talk about the positive. We know that the quarterback's been a big problem here. It's been a big focus not only here locally, but throughout the country. But you look at the offensive line. They have benefited from this talented defensive line because the quarterbacks have struggled and Nick Saban and Lane Kiffin have been forced to throw the football a lot off, more often in practice, which tested one of their skills that they need to work on, that was pass blocking. We know they could run block, but we needed to find out if they were better pass blockers. They've had a chance because of that defensive line to improve upon that. Yeah, I, I, that's definitely the message that we've been getting from just uh, our few interactions with, with these players, from talking to the defensive line, just going up against these certain offensive players. and. Uh, we've had a few chances, I think, to talk to some of the offensive players and just quiz them on how that that progress is being made with because of that defensive line. I mean, obviously, you got three three new players um, coming into the fold here on the starting offensive line, but um, a lot of them, granted, a lot of them have had that experience. But you have to think that with with that defensive line, their, their prowess, overall prowess, that that will you know going into that first game, it should make the transition a little more seamless, I think, with a, with a new group there. No doubt, replacing three of the starters on the offensive line is going to be a, one, of the big, one of the biggest question marks around this camp, and I think it's going to be one of the strengths of this football team, the offensive line. I'm no longer concerned about this unit. We'll find out exactly how they're able to take care of business. Remember, our coverage continues with Kevin Connell. Daily reports from practice, Tide991.com. I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Ryan Fowler here on Tide991.